Alrighty, here is a one inch bolt, eight threads per inch. And here is single point thread, one inch, eight threads per inch. Um, let's see if I can do this one handed here. I just got finished with this. A little bit snugger on this end than it is on that end, but my lathe tends to cut a little bit deeper as it goes that way anyway, so that probably explains that, but I am very, very happy with that. So, it's been a while since I uh, actually finished this little project off here. Um... What I wound up doing was where's it at? I don't even know if it'll show up on the camera or not, but I wound up starting off with one of the uh, carbide inserts that is chipped so that I could make extra deep cuts with it. And then went to a good piece, a fresh piece of carbide that is, has a good point on it to, you know, do the final, uh, <clears throat> the final passes, the, you know, to get in there you know, as deep as I needed to. So with the, since I have this thing set up the way it is, I can't set the compound on the angle that I need to. So I have to do all of my depth with the cross slide. So I was doing, what was it? Um, five thou deep increments with the um, inserts that were chipped. And then once I switched back over to the inserts with the good tips on them, then I switched to, well, started off, you know, just barely scratching the surface and then incrementing two thou per pass. Um, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> Okay, so I remember what I was going to say now. The nice thing about this setup is when I pop an old insert out and a new insert in, it seems to track almost exactly where it was with the old insert. So from what I can tell so far, that looks like that's going to work out really well as far as Doing the preliminary cuts with an older chipped insert and doing the final cuts with a insert with a good tip on it. So anyways, I took a page out of Kimber Zillick's book and did a little threading practice, which I've been kind of eager to do anyways. Maybe one of these days I'll actually get this set up to where I can do it on the proper angle and use use the compound but in the meantime it's cutting threads <laughs>